Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add GameCube games onto Botticera. So this is a really straightforward and simple process, but it can be a little bit confusing if it's your first time. So I'm going to demonstrate this process by using actually two PCs. So I have my gaming PC, which I run Botticera on, and then I also have just a regular laptop which is what I'm gonna be using to download my GameCube ROM. I'm going to actually download it directly onto this Samsung 128 gigabyte flash drive. I'll put a link in the description of this video if you're interested in checking that out. I love using flash drives just because they're super convenient and easy to take data and you know ROMs in this case from one PC and transfer it over onto another one. You could also use micro SD cards, but I find that these are just a little bit easier and this particular one is super affordable and really reliable. I've been using this now for probably about nine months. I haven't had any issues. Micro SD cards, you know, if you're constantly moving them from device to device, you're gonna find that sometimes they corrupt and I just find that this one works a lot better. So personal preference there, but if you're interested in picking up one of these, check the description of this video and I'll put a direct link in there so you can jump over to Amazon and pick one up or at least get some additional information on that. So we're gonna dive into this. I'll show you the exact process so you can get your GameCube collection up and running on Botticera. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to add GameCube games to Botticera is we first need to get our ROMs. So there's a bunch of different websites out there where you can download ROMs. The one that I like to use is vim.net. There's a ton of different collections on here. You just have to go over to the vault. And if you jump in here, you can see they have tons of different consoles as well as handhelds here. So you can go in here and get you know all these different collections. Um, super easily, everything's really reliable. This is a great website because you don't have to worry about malware or anything like that. So I'm going to go in and I actually recently um, forgot to put one of my favorite games on my 4TB SSD for Botticera. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and that's actually going to be the Mario Kart Double Dash game. It's one of my favorite Mario Kart games. I can't believe that I actually forgot this originally. So it's actually listed right here as top 10 downloads. So we're just going to go down here and we're gonna hit download. And what I'm actually downloading this onto is not the PC that I'm actually running here. It's going to be an external uh, USB flash drive. So I've actually already downloaded this, but if this is your first time doing this, all you do is you go down here and hit download. You can of course change where you want this to download. If you just hit this like this, it's likely going to just go into your computer's download folder. I have it set so it actually automatically saves right to my Samsung USB flash drive. And you can see that it's sitting right here. So once you have it downloaded, you just need to go over here, click on it, and you actually need 7-Zip, which is a tool to actually unzip this because it's currently a zipped file. So we just go down once you've downloaded 7-Zip and you go over here and you just hit extract files. It's gonna give you a little confirmation as to where you want it to extract to. And I just have the current drive, which is the E drive. You can see right here, Samsung USB flash drive in parentheses here, E drive. So that's what I have it set to here. Again, you could do this to your downloads folder. You could do it to your desktop, wherever you wanna do it. I just like to do it to the flash drive because I'm gonna use this flash drive to plug it into my gaming PC. And that's how I'm gonna actually upload this particular ROM to Botticera. So I'm gonna just confirm okay here. And this is actually a really fast one because this game is super small. It's just a couple hundred megabytes versus a lot of GameCube games, which are over one gigabyte. So we're gonna let it do its thing here. You can see up here we have the elapsed time, and then here we have remaining time. So we got about 26 seconds left to go. We're already at about the midway point here, about 50%. So we'll let it do its thing, and we'll come back here once it's complete. All right, so you can see here that it just completed the extraction. So right here now, I actually have the extracted version. So I can go ahead over here and just delete this one so it's not confusing later. This is the zipped version. Here's the unzipped version. And if I open this up, you're gonna see that I actually have the disk image file right here. And then right here is just like a little document from Vim's Lair. This is the website I downloaded it from. So I'm gonna delete that. Again, just to make sure that this isn't confusing, I'm just gonna drag this over to the actual flash drive so it's no longer in the folder. So you can see now I have the folder up here and then this right here is just the image. So I'm gonna delete the folder now. You don't have to do any of this. You can leave it inside the folder and then extract it from that once we hook up the flash drive to our Botticera computer. Uh, but I just do this because I'm a little OCD and I just like everything to be super neat 
and I don't like to run the risk of forgetting something later on and doing the wrong thing. So now it's ready to go. These over here are just some other ROMs that I have saved on here for PlayStation 3. I haven't extracted any of these yet, so you can see these are all zipped files. This is the only one extracted, so it's not gonna be confusing when I attach this to my gaming PC running Botticera. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do next. We're gonna jump over to my gaming PC and we'll dive into the file system there and I'll show you exactly what we need to do in order to add Mario Kart Double Dash onto Botticera in the GameCube collection. All right, so we've just booted up Botticera on my gaming PC here. So all we need to do now is we need to have first a mouse and a keyboard attached to our gaming PC, just in order to get into the file system here and then to be able to navigate through the file system. We are also going to need to have our flash drive, which we just added our GameCube games onto. So I'm going to first open up the file system and the best way to do this is to hit F1 on your keyboard um, or function F1, depending on what type of keyboard you're using. And you need to make sure that you're in one of the main menus there. You don't wanna be into one of the subcategories and that's gonna open up your file system here. So now we're gonna grab our mouse and if you look over here on this side column here, you'll notice that we don't yet have anything plugged into the gaming PC. So now I'm gonna take my flash drive, which again has my GameCube game ROM on it, and I'm gonna insert that into my gaming PC. And that should populate on here in a couple seconds. There it is, the Samsung USB flash drive. If I click on this, you can see all of the files that I had saved from my PC. So once I open this up, you can see I have all of those games on here now. So we're just gonna navigate over to Mario Kart Double Dash, and you're gonna see here that this is a .iso file. It's been fully extracted as we saw um, in the previous steps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on it to highlight it. And if you have multiple ones, now I do have multiple ones here, but again, I mentioned before, these are not GameCube games. These are PlayStation 3 games. So if you had a bunch of GameCube games, you can go ahead and just highlight all of them. You would just highlight all of them like that. In this case, again, I just have the one, so I'm going to highlight that. I'm gonna drop down to copy, and then we're gonna go over here back to our left column here, and we're gonna jump into ROMs. So this is back on the file system for Botticera, and we're gonna to navigate to the GameCube collection folder. So we just have to look for the G's here. It's located right here, so we'll double click on GameCube. And you can see I have a ton of games on here already, but I do not have this particular game. So all we need to do, if this is your first time, you're just going to click anywhere in an open space. Obviously, this is clearly not my first time. I have tons of games on here. So I'm just gonna go down to the bottom where I have an open space. I'm gonna click right here with the right click, and I'm just gonna hit paste. And this is gonna load in here. This again is a small game, so it's only gonna take about three or four seconds. And let's just make sure that it actually dropped in here. Everything's alphabetical order. So we'll just go down to the M's, which are right here. And let's locate Mario Kart Double Dash. And here it is right there. So we know it's been added incorrectly. So all we need to do now is go over to file over here in the top left corner. And we're gonna hit close window. That's gonna bring us right back into Botticera here. So now what we're going to do is either with your keyboard or a gamepad controller that's already been set up on Botticera, if you have a keyboard, it's going to be your space bar. And if you have a gamepad controller, it's gonna be start. And that's going to open up your main menu. So I just have to turn on my gamepad controller here. You can see that it's connected at the top. So I'll hit start and I'm gonna drop down to game settings. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit update game lists. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's gonna say really update game list, yep. And now if I jumped into my GameCube collection, which is right here, and if I navigate over to Mario Kart uh, Double Dash, which would obviously be in M's, I'm just gonna to go to the jump to and make this a little bit quicker. I'm gonna to go to the M titles and let's jump down here. We should be able to find Mario Kart Double Dash and it's right there. Um, it doesn't have anything scraped for it, so it doesn't have the uh, icons or logos or descriptions, none of that stuff. I'm actually gonna do that real quick though because it's a super easy process and it won't hurt to show you guys how to do that so it becomes clean and crisp like all of these other games that I've already added, which each one has a little video. Um, all this would have audio too. I've just muted everything just for the purpose of this video, but we're going to hover above it here because we only need to scrape one thing. If we want to scrape a bunch of things, 
um, it would be a different process. I actually have a video to show you guys how to scrape a bunch of different games. So if you have an entire collection that's brand new, you can do it that way. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can see exactly how to scrape entire collections instead of just one-off titles like this. But if you just have one title like me here today, you're going to hold down your um, X if you're using a PlayStation style controller or B if you're using like a Super Nintendo style controller. And it's gonna pull up this menu right here and we're gonna go down to options and the first option is scrape. So we're gonna select that and it's gonna pull up the information here and we have two different options for uh, where we wanna scrape from. We have screen scraper or the games uh, DB. So I'm gonna go with screen scraper, just gonna select that. It's going to load everything in here. Only takes a couple seconds if you're just doing individual titles like this. So we'll let it do its thing here. It's downloading the video. And once it completes, it's just gonna bump you right back out here. So you can see now I actually have it populated into the list. So it's no longer that little uh, game cartridge with the text title on it. It's now got the full logo on there. We also have the video and we have the description scrolling at the bottom. Uh, also the creators populated in. We got the little box art in the bottom left corner. So everything's looking super neat. It goes together perfectly with everything else in here. So that's gonna conclude the process for adding GameCube games to Botticera. It's super straightforward and easy to do. All right, guys, you can see from this video here that the step-by-step -step process for adding GameCube games to Botticera is super easy and straightforward. So if you follow these steps, I promise you, you'll be able to get your GameCube collection up and running on Botticera with relative ease. So again, I used my Samsung 128 gigabyte flash drive for this process. Link in the description of this video if you're interested in picking that up. Um, I'll also put a link in the uh, description to show you the actual PC that I'm running Botticera on. I've done a review video recently on that that's really in-depth and straightforward, shows you all the different capabilities and functions of this PC, specifically with emulation using Botticera. So link in the description of this video for that as well. But that's gonna do it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me. Huge help with us to try to grow this YouTube channel. Um, also, if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe because we do a ton of different things on this particular channel based around retro gaming. We do tutorials like this one, product reviews, gameplay demos, and then of course we have the Forgotten Favorites YouTube series every Monday and Thursday night. So tons of great content on here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. But that's going to do it for today. Appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.